What if I told you that, or just being in the gym and being even bulkier and being even fitter than you've ever been and gaining the weight or losing the weight that you've been trying to lose, or even if it's just being happier in life, really if all of it came down to just a couple decisions, would you then believe me? Now, if you look at success, success is just a series of decisions that have been made when you least feel like doing it. So literally Kobe Bryant, one of the best to ever play basketball, even said it. He did the things that most people did not want to do, waking up at five in the morning, going to practice after games. These are things and decisions that you have to make in order to get to that percentage or whatever perception you see of yourself. You see, you can't do the things that you're doing right now and still think that you're going to become this best version of yourself. It requires you making sacrifices. It requires you saying, yo, I can't do the things that have not been benefiting me. It requires me realizing that, look, if I know that these things aren't benefiting me, then I need to stop doing them. And then let me pinpoint right down all the things that I know I need to do in order to actually get the results that I'm trying to get. So again, you can't be who you are right now and be who you want to be at the same exact time. Something has to give. And that's where decisions come into play, right? Your choices and what you do on your day-to-day -day life is actually one of the most important things that you can possibly do when it comes to who you hang out with, when it comes to what you consume and the information and music you consume, when it comes to the just information as a whole and what you consume on social media, all of that stuff plays a part in your day-to-day -day life, but you just don't know it because you may not be as aware as you would like to be when it comes to all of these different things so you can literally decide your way to success so if you wanted to be great at making content all you have to do is turn on your camera get in front of the camera and do it for over a period of time so if you wanted to be great at making content then i bet you if you did it for one year straight even if it was two three times a week let's just say you recorded two to three times a week over an entire year i can promise you that you're going to be 10 times better than you were when you first started and that's the the decision that needs to be made the decision that needs to be made is i'm going to to start now. So it's the same thing with the gym, right? You have to exercise your muscles. It's the same thing with your brain. You have to exercise the muscle that is up there. If you're not reading, then how do you expect to be smart enough to make decisions and realize opportunities when they present themselves to you? You have to be willing to make decisions when you don't feel like it. So a lot of people don't wanna wake up early in the morning and go to the gym and read the books. A lot of people don't wanna sit down and write out their goals. A lot of people don't wanna sit down and look at, okay, if I don't have the amount of money that I want in my bank account, why am I not looking at the last 60 to 90 days of my bank statements and realizing where is the money going again it's just decisions it's the same thing with people who talk stuff about others who go window shopping right think about it like this if somebody has the nerve to tell you about window shopping when you're just trying to conserve money and maybe only spend money on things that you truly find valuable or truly think that you really like then at the end of the day they're just not as disciplined as you would want a person to be right because if anybody can just walk in the mall and spend regardless of how much money they have in their account then guess what? They're not going to be financially able to take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. So whether it's a stock market crash and you have some money left over, if you don't have money left over, right? Again, it's just a decision to not do those things, right? It's the same thing with, you know, eating fast food all the time or kicking it every single weekend. I see it every single weekend on Instagram, on Twitter, everybody's kicking it, popping bottles. But in reality, you still got to wake up on Monday and go tend to that job that you don't want to be at. You still got to put in those hours that you don't want to put in. But if you just made the decision now over the next 52 weeks to not go out to not go spend money on bottles to not go drinking to not smoke uh, your whole life away right if you made those decisions now you'd probably be in a better position than you are right now and i only know this because i've done it myself so when it came to taking huge leaps for myself it required me saying okay what are the things that i'm doing that i know i shouldn't be doing so if i'm not going to the gym enough then i should probably start going to the gym right if i'm eating a lot of fast food and i don't like how my body's looking then i should probably stop eating fast food the decision there is to stop pulling up in the fast food line and saying all right i'm gonna just do it this one time the decision is oh i'm tired uh maybe i shouldn't get up no i'm going to get up because i'm tired because the people who i'm probably competing against or the other people who are out there even if you're not competing they're waking up anyways right you have to be resilient when it comes to chasing the things that you want out of this life nothing's going to be given to you so this is why i always say you're really just one decision one choice away from being as successful as you want and it doesn't doesn't matter what industry you're in it requires you to actually tend to the thing up here your mind and understanding yourself what do you truly want if you don't truly want it then don't chase it 
don't go after it right so if you want to be more fit then go to the gym if you want to be more successful in e-commerce then do that if you want to be a real estate mogul then go out there and go learn everything you can and go network with all the people who are great in real estate those are the decisions that need to be made in order for you to actually get to where you're trying to get to and that's just as simple as it is i think people overcomplicate a lot of these things when in reality if you just realize that you can't live in the past because it's already gone and you can't look forward or uh, live in the future because it's too far away if you just live in the present and realize that the decisions you make today is what defines tomorrow and what changes how you perceived yourself in the past then that is going to help you a lot more than just sitting around and affirming that things are going to go right and just saying hey god i, I pray that everything just works out for me and all these different things because it does not work like that you can pray as much as you want but without execution nothing will change so if you praying that you could have just a million dollars or hit the lottery guess what even if you hit the lottery you still don't have any discipline to make the right decisions when you make the when you have that money in your account let's say you do hit the lottery right you still don't have enough discipline to make the right decisions with the money once you actually have it and that's why decisions are so important so make the decision to read that book it's that simple but the more you overcomplicate these things the harder it's going to be for you to get to where you're trying to get to everything is just mental the faster you realize that the decisions you make today is going to get you to where you're trying to get to the easier it's going to be for you over an extended period of time to make the right decisions to achieve the things that you want and then actually live the life that you always wanted and actually have the things that you've always wanted so you have to sit down and you have to ask yourself what decisions am i not making if you truly want to be successful here's the list of things you do right what am i not doing right Right now that i know i need to be doing do i need to be waking up earlier do i need to be eating healthier do i need to stop hanging around this group of people do i need to stop going out on the weekends okay those are the decisions i need to make today and if i'm going to make those decisions today i have to follow through with it every single day up until i get to the point where i can do the things that i want to do regardless of what anybody else has to say so it's your boy dantes Akra. make sure you guys hit the subscribe button you're one decision away from getting to where you're trying to get to but you just have to go out there and have enough confidence and just say yo i'm gonna go do the thing that i know i want to do so i can accomplish the things that i want out of this life so real quick as you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys leave a like i want you also to comment down below one decision that you've made throughout 2023 that you already are noticing a huge leap in your life in whether it's in the gym making money with god whatever it is i want you to comment it down below and i will be sure to reply to every single person who does so i'll see you guys in the comments peace